Tonight, Houston mayoral candidate attorney Tony Busby has issued a new challenge to Mayor Sylvester Turner. And Busby found a very unique way to get his point across. Channel 2 investigator Mario, Mario Diaz is live now at City Hall with more on this. Mario? Unique and stinky, Lauren, but Busby says the focus here is to end the practice of pay to play that he alleges is going on here at City Hall. We got to clean up City Hall, folks. This from attorney turned politician Tony Busby. Something stinks at City Hall, and it's not this horse manure. <laughs> to prove his point, Busby produced four wheelbarrows filled with manure outside his new Midtown campaign office. The outspoken attorney standing by number two, but talking about number one. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Busby issued the first stiff challenge to Mayor Sylvester Turner this campaign season, claiming the mayor has received campaign contributions from people doing business with the city. I'm calling on you, Mayor, to return the hundreds of thousands of dollars that you've already received from hurricane contractors. As for the mayor's response, campaign spokesperson Sue Davis tells Channel 2 the mayor does not have any comment. I don't want to spend $5 million, but I will. Another interesting twist, aside from the fact that Busby is willing to spend his own millions. I intend to win the race. So whatever it takes, I intend to win the race. Is the location for his first campaign office. Four years ago, it was the Asian campaign headquarters for Mayor Sylvester Turner. We attempted to get the mayor's reaction to Busby setting up shop at a place that supported Turner in 2015. Davis telling me he won't have any kind of comment on that. And uh, one other challenge that Busby threw out there to the mayor today was that he's asking him to not accept any money from anybody moving forward that is currently or will in the future do any kind of business with the city, asking city council members to hold him accountable. Live at City Hall, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.